the entire range of the solfeggio frequencies uh, are always beneficial to you, except 440 hertz, which is the frequency of Saturn. 440 hertz generates harmonic distortion in the polar molecules of the body, and it throws you out of alignment with remaining connected to the frequency of the Earth, and it forces you to remain connected to the materialism of that system. If you see the effects of what 440 hertz does to a drop of water underneath a cymatoscope, you'll clearly see what I'm talking about. It generates these disturbing ripples. There's nothing harmonious about it. Now, of course, plausible deniability, the system will tell you that a guy like me saying something like this is just absolutely out of my mind because they have all of these systems of measurement and you know, all that. But that's just trying to get you to make, um, you have them make you um, think that what they're saying is true. And it's not. What I'm saying is the truth. They give you 440 hertz in music for a reason. Rap, rock, you know, country pop. It's all loaded with it. Not every artist wants it because a lot of them vie for the 432 hertz frequency, which complements the human ethos. 440 hertz cancels it out. So you'll notice that Tibetan singing bowls, crystal bowls, solfeggio frequencies, they will rid the body of disharmonious, um, discordant, uh, incongruent, um, how should I put it, uh, demonic entities, you know that generate cavitation inside your soul. <clears throat> cavitation is the formation of an empty space within a solid body or object. So they're basically emptying out all of the high vibrational positivity inside you, ready to be filled with negative. You have to understand, when you watch cell phones and internet, online and movies and everything like that, it isn't what you think it to be, folks. It isn't what you believe it to be. You don't just watch a movie, oh, that was cool, and then you're on with your day, as if, you know, no big deal. It was just superficial. Nothing was absorbed in, inside you. You know, you're not, you're not carrying anything. That's what they want you to believe. Because those energies that comprise those things are nefarious, and everything is energy. So if you're connecting to something by watching it, you are establishing an energy tether which becomes an extension of your energy, a conduit, like a tunnel. That's how they funnel these things into your aura. So you have to understand, when you're watching a movie or you're online, YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, whatever, and you're connected to that energy, the energy becomes you. It's now streaming like a bridge crossing over from where it is to where you are because now the 201 is what they call quantum entanglement. It's basically just saturating your mind with the types of frequencies that these things are comprised of. That is what they don't tell you. And all of these frequencies are just just cursed with demonic hexes and, and demonic um, incantations and spells and all kinds of stuff. That's the invisible and the silent invader. That once they get inside your mind, these demonic parasites attach themselves to the subconscious portion of your brain and they begin to immediately control your reality, manipulate your brainwaves. They start generating thought forms and, and patterns of thought that cause you to follow these things because you think that you're coming up with your thoughts on your own, but you're not. You're actually being programmed like a drone. And no, this isn't crazy stuff. This is actually happening. If you don't believe me, go watch a really funny movie or go do something, you know, that's really happy for you. Like, you know, read a good book or, you know, if there are such things, try to play a happy video game. I don't really think they exist, but it's all violent based for a reason. It taps into your reptilian brain. Um, but you just just do that. Go watch a documentary on, you know, trees or something like that, right? And then you'll see your environment is filled with that positivity. You're filled with the, the positivity and it raises your vibration. And then go watch a horror movie or a documentary on serial killers or mobsters or something like that, something demonic in nature and watch how fast that affects you. You'll feel like there's a lead vest on your chest. You feel like you're being suffocated, like you can't catch your breath, like the whole atmosphere has become very laden and heavy and dense and very dark, because it is. Your television is a door turned on its side. It's a portal. If you don't believe me, take your TV and turn it uh, right side up, and it'll. it's a door. It's a door. It's a portal. It doesn't have to be a rectangle. It can be anything. Any type of monitoring device is a portal for energies to stream through those portals and penetrate your subconscious mind. So you'll begin to become aware of why you shouldn't just find yourself doing anything, you know, haphazardly 
you know, without thinking things through first, because your energy, once it's tethered to something, you're going to be suffering the consequences of it. You have to be a conscientious observer. You know what I mean? You can't just go around like just throwing your energy out there because you, that's how you get in trouble. You begin accumulating the negative energy and assimilating it. And you're wondering why all of these things all of a sudden start happening in your life of a negative nature. You know? You have to be conscientious about the things you do in your life. Absolutely. Because if you find yourself in, a, in, a, in an area that's negative and you're connecting to it, there's consequences for that stuff. You know? There's um, ramifications and repercussions for these things. So if you're turning on a television, you're watching all that disgusting um, reality shows and all these crime shows and the documentaries about serial killers and murderers, and you're, 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 you're eating up that energy. You're literally consuming it. That's why they call it the feed online and on the news, because they're feeding you this energy because you're eating it. You are what you eat. So if what you're consuming is low vibrational trash, that speaks volumes about who you are as a person that you went ahead and connected with that stuff in the first place. And secondly, that is what you're going to become. And whatever you assimilate, you absorb, and it becomes a part of your, your integral um, energy. And that's what you're going to project, and that's what you're going to receive in the form of experiences, which begin the culmination of your reality. Because each experience is a facet, you know, or a brick that builds to the, you know, the, the structure of your reality. That's really what it is. You know, you could see each experience as its own separate reality if you want. Hey, man, anyway, whatever floats your boat. But the fact is that energy is what it is, and it's, it's, it's ineffable. It simply defies a verbal explanation. It's undescribable. And there's, you know, it's not even called energy. That's an earth word. But nonetheless, you have to just be very, you know, cautious and conscious and conscientious of what you're doing with your energy. Because once it's thrown out there, it can't be taken back if you're connecting to something of a negative nature. Because that negative entity isn't just going to go away. Because now that you've opened the door to your home, which is your soul, and you've invited this thing in, it isn't just going to want to leave. It doesn't work like that. 